It provides such a clear-headed energy and focus. Hey, what's up guys? It's Josh here. Today I want to do a little review on this Amp Citrate. Now this review is kind of going to be mostly around Amp Citrate. I did try DMAA and DMHA again with these. Overall, this is going to be about Amp Citrate since I have done videos on these two before. I've taken this for almost a week right now. One day I switched up and did DMAA, a small dose, and then I did two days of DMHA. So let's jump into Amp Citrate. Now Amp Citrate is chemically related to DMAA and DMHA, but when I was looking at the chemical structure, it's almost Almost like flipped upside down not really the same but it has a similar feeling when you taste it it does have that similar dmaa taste i'm amazed at how many different legal stimulants there are between caffeine and the harder stuff teocrine dynamine dmaa dmha amp citrate the nice little blend of not caffeine but not anything crazy at the same time as far as the strength goes the strongest is dmaa and then the second strongest is dmha and the third strongest is amp citrate and then past that is area gerenesis area gerenesis does not last very long it lasts a couple hours for me with this amp citrate i get about four to five hours of non-stop constant energy if i take it a lot and my body gets used to it it may go down a little bit and not last those four to five hours i'd almost say that it's slightly more euphoric feeling than dma and dmha yeah baby <laughs> It was kind of surprising because the chemical makeup is switched so i thought it was going to have even less sometimes with dmaa and dmha if you're trying to get that really up feeling it might take a lot or by the time you do feel that up feeling it might be too much and you might be regretting taking that much that's what i've had to do with dmaa and dmha when i started off with this i would go between one and two scoops at 75 milligrams after getting used to it i probably do like a solid two which is like 150 milligrams online people were saying that the dosage was around 100 to like 400 and I could kind of see that. If you're just starting off with this, probably like a scoop, maybe a little more than a scoop just to kind of feel it. To me, this is one that I noticed right away. And I actually kind of wanted to quit caffeine when I was taking this because it provides such a clear headed energy and focus. I don't know if it was necessarily the euphoria or the fact that I felt focused. And when I feel focused, you feel good doing stuff. And when you get stuff done, you feel better. Probably the most focused off of anything with this and it was almost like i didn't want caffeine i didn't want another stim like i'm just good to go and i'm like that's what i'm trying to take a stim for is to just get me doing stuff and not really worried about when's the next time i'm gonna take it you know so the pros of this is that it's strong very strong but it's not too strong at about the six hour mark i actually do feel tired but like i said up to about four or five hours i mean you get that constant focus and it's not like caffeine where it kind of like dips really high and then it crashes it's a very even feeling especially when i was first taking it just fantastic i'm in the zone it's almost like i could let myself heal from taking so much caffeine because this doesn't act on the caffeine receptor so i'm taking this i feel good i feel up but then i'm also like healing the part of my brain that uses my caffeine receptors when i was first taking this i was used to so much caffeine that i actually kind of like took a nap a little bit in the day because i think that was my body kind of just flushing all the caffeine out. If you don't know what caffeine does, there's something in your body that makes you really tired and caffeine blocks it so your body can't absorb the thing that makes you tired so you stay awake longer but the problem with that is your body makes more of this tired hormone so when the caffeine goes away your whole body's flooded with this tired hormone so after kind of weaning off the caffeine and getting my dose a lot lower i feel a lot better day to day i just really didn't need any other stim with this which is crazy because most of the time even with dmaa and dmha there's times where you feel like oh i want a little more stim or oh i don't feel that awake when you take more caffeine and then all of a sudden it's like way too anxious i should have never taken more caffeine the dmaa is still there i just kind of didn't really feel it but it was still there i would say this is less anxious and slightly more euphoric than dmaa and dmha the first time i took dmha I had a really bad day. I took this for two days and then I was like, oh, I'll try the DMHA to kind of try it out. The doses was off. I think I did like a, I did a half dose of DMHA to be safe. I kind of wasn't really feeling it like I was feeling this. So I took some caffeine and then the combination of DMHA and caffeine, I really just did not feel good. So then I went back to this. And then when I tried DMAA out, I only tried DMAA once during this experiment. I didn't have my scooper, which is a small 10 milligrams. If you don't know, DMAA is the strongest. So I got a little bit of DMAA on my finger, just a tiny little bit, put it in my mouth. And I was like, okay, that's all I'm gonna do for the day. No more of this other stuff. I'll have maybe a tiny bit of caffeine, tiny if I need it, but I'm just gonna go with that. And I really did enjoy the DMA, which is surprising because before my other tests, 
I really just wasn't feeling the DMA. I felt really anxious off it, but this time being really careful with it, trying a small dose and not drinking anything else or trying anything else with it, I really did enjoy the DMA, which was surprising. I don't think, I almost think I enjoyed it more than the DMHA as well. My tolerance with caffeine, because I take this, and like I said, it, it heals my caffeine receptors, but at the same time it gets like, a really nice up feeling. You could really take a lot of this and you're not gonna have to worry about that crazy anxiety that could happen with DMA or DMHA, or you're not gonna have to worry about it being too strong. It lasts just long enough, in my opinion. You could take this much more liberally than DMA. You could take DMA and DMHA in the morning at like a lower dose. And if you're like, oh man, I want a little bit more, but I don't wanna take more DMA because it's gonna last so long. You could take this. I'd probably take this all the way up until like one or 2 p.m. It's like I said, about the six hour mark is the time when I kind of see it go away. It's just a nice, nice sustained energy without pushing your body too hard. I don't want my body pushed for 12 hours, four to five is perfect. Pretty much all the cons of DMAA slash DMHA, but they're all about 50% much more mild, like I was saying. There's a chance to get anxiety, but not nearly as much. When I was taking this, um, I, for a second, I was like, uh oh, there's that DMA anxiety like that you just can't shut off. It was so much more mild. It just went away. So much more of a balanced supplement to me, in my opinion. And this is probably the number one supplement that I would want in a pre-workout because it lasts longer than area joint assist, but at the same time, DMA and DMHA, I just have to be so careful with them because of how strong they are. And I could be so much more liberal with this, which I appreciate. Less side effects with this and almost more positives because I enjoy the up feeling a little bit more. Getting into amp citrate, getting my tolerance up, I actually will appreciate these a little bit more. Maybe I'll go with a little bit of a higher dose while not taking any caffeine. For me personally, when I have a lick of a medium amount of caffeine and a medium amount of this, I have crazy anxiety. I'll probably just take a low dose, but at the same time, I have to reset my tolerance because uh, my body gets used to them. I need to take more to get that feeling. And I was like trying to do the testing so I could do this video. So then I've taken these six or seven days straight. I kind of want to give my body a, a reset, but I had to do this video. So I'm like, I don't want to like get on the video and just be like, hey guys, amp citrate. Oh yeah. So I took some this morning to basically shoot these videos and tomorrow I will do the reset. I feel probably the best on this one. I would say it's the safest as well. I will recommend this pretty much to anybody. If this is your first time getting into stimulants, a hundred percent get this one. But if you're somebody who needs like over 50 milligrams of DMAA to feel good, I would say this is probably going to be a little bit too light for you. Although I like it so much, I would recommend that everybody get it. I love the look of this too. All these looks kind of look pretty good. I would say DMHA is the second best, but this just looks really cool. I like it. Highly recommend it. The only people I wouldn't recommend this to is for people who take a lot of DMAA, but still, I think you actually might enjoy this because you could kind of double up and you could take this halfway during the day and be 100% safe. We're on the road to 25,000 subscribers and I couldn't do it without any of you guys' help. You guys are the best. I'm having a great day out here. Hopefully you're having a great day at home. See you all in the next video. Peace. Amp Citrate versus DMAA and DMHA.